Hi, folks. I'm Matthew Kelway. Last-minute campaigning. I hope I can count on your support on Monday. New Democrat candidate Matthew Kelway is working to win every vote. For the first time in 18 years, his party stands to take this traditionally liberal seat in Canada's parliament. Unthinkable when the election was called six weeks ago. People are beginning to get the differences between what we stand for as the NDP and what Jack's talking about and what they've seen historically from our governments here in Canada. Jack Layton is the politician Canadians say they'd most like to have a beer with. Until now, Layton's NDP has traditionally been at best a distant third place party. During the campaign, Prime Minister Stephen Harper has been warning anything other than a conservative majority in this latest vote risks Canada's economic stability. The NDP and Liberal platforms, even by their own estimates, would increase spending by $70 billion. Harper also says his Liberal Party rival lacks true Canadian credentials because Michael Ignatieff spent decades in the United States and Britain. But instead of Liberal voters turning right to the Conservatives, they've gone further left towards Leighton's NDP in record numbers. And just like spring, which has been late arriving to this part of Canada, voter enthusiasm for yet another election has also been slow to warm up. This is the fourth time in seven years Canadians are being asked to go to the polls. Ordinary Canadians seem disinterested in issues this time round, caring more about the leaders' personalities, where the NDP's latent scores big. But will that translate into votes? I'm past the stage of excitement. Is there really going to be a change between one party or another? I'm a little, just a little skeptical. It's just something I don't think we need it right now. Overcoming apathy is now the politician's biggest challenge and the final push to influence a weary electorate and the outcome of a suddenly unpredictable vote. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Toronto.